Okay guys, so I got this. You might have seen I did a video of an Indoscom that needed to be sold. Well, it got scratched up and ruined again, so I just I just put it back together. I painted it, repainted it a couple of days ago. This is what it looks like. This here wasn't sanded out properly. And this the switch cap needed to be repainted, so it wasn't too bad. Yeah, the amount of time I have to redo it. That's what the top looks like. Yeah, this new. Just I just drew my own sticker and put it by where the logo is. It does not have a sticker on it, and I got a new pull for it. So I, I have this restored as well as another Indoscom, which is an industrial one. This is, I think this is the only non-industrial that exists that Indoscom has made. I've never seen one before. This is the only one. Oh, remember, I have one that looks like this. It was up here. Um, I still have that one. It's just, I remember it stopped working for some reason. I couldn't find out why. So I still have it in the store room. I still don't know what the brand of it is. It looks a lot like this one, so it could have been an endless comp, but it had no stickers, so I'm thinking that it, it was just an unknown, unbranded. Yeah. Looks really nice. I switched the camera quality was better, so you could really see how nice that looks. So I was saying, I have another Indoscom restored. It's already in box and everything. So I might just get the box and do a video of that. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to cut off, cut to where this is put back, and I have the box. Here's the other Indoscom. It's in this box. It's already taped back up. The box had been opened before. I just took a, a box from the, another fan that was the same. Um, if there's a hole somewhere, but yeah, there's the motor and the canopies are in there, wrapped in plastic and just newly, newly packaged. So, yeah. Um, the bo the blades come in a separate long box, and the down rod comes in nothing. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. This was. Cat 69. Um, bye.